It is a privilege to be joined today on the summit by Alex Van Callsbeek, who is a sophomore for Northwestern. And not only that, the men's basketball team has uh, gotten a lot of production from him this week. In fact, he's been named the NAI National Player of the Week. Alex, I want to start there. What an honor. That That's a big deal. I, I know GPAC Player of the Week, that's pretty cool, but National Player of the Week in men's basketball. Talk about that and what that means to you. Yeah, I think I've only received that honor once in my career so far. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm not someone who is seeking those type of, um, like that's not my goal, but, um, right now I think it means a lot to me and, uh, it just shows to others, um, what I've gone through, um, the hard work I put in, uh, last year I was injured. I played four games and I was out for the rest of the year. And so I think that just shows, um, the hard work I put in the off season, all the therapy I've gone through and yeah. Well, obviously, that that hard work is showing right now. 31 points a game in those three games last week, 8.3 boards as well. 2-1, and one, Northwestern. I know you'd probably like to have been 3-0, and oh, definitely that. But 2-1 uh, and one during that stretch. So a, a tough loss to a rival, also a ranked team in Morningside. But you pick up a couple of wins over Doan and Midland. Let's talk about those two for a moment. I, I had a chance, I know a, a number of other people probably have had a chance to see the game tying three at Doan to send that game into overtime. Then you guys came away with a four point victory as well. Talk a little bit uh, about that. Came down to the wire. I mean, buzzer beater, great length of the court, inbound play to get the ball ultimately over to your hands for a three pointer. Tell us a little bit about that. I'm sure that was drawn up. You guys probably have worked on that a time or two. Yeah, um, it's actually funny. We that exact play we practiced that about twice per week. So um, uh, Coach Corver, head coach, uh, just give him a lot of props for that. I mean, that's just little details that separate us. I mean, we're working on those little things every day. Um, but to the game, um, I mean, uh, Doan, they just came out of the second half. I mean, they were uh, shooting lights out. Um, we were up, but they came back. Uh, hard foul battle. Um, G Pack's always like that. And so down the stretch, uh, some coach likes to say is Raider magic, you know, make something happen. And we were down 30 with two seconds left and, yeah, shot went in. So, I would imagine with a coach like Coach Corver, you're going to have Raider magic opportunities more often than not. Uh, but but you've done your part as well. And also uh, along the way, you know, a part of that week was a 52-point production against Midland, and that's the, the most points scored in program history. So talk about that a little bit, uh, 52 points in a game and doing it, shooting 70% from the field. You just weren't missing. Yeah. Um, I'm someone who I'm a very rhythm player, you know, once I see the ball going through the net, um, just gives me a lot of confidence and I just keep, uh, keep rolling on that. So started off pretty hot. I think I had over 30 going into halftime. So it was funny, you know, all my teammates were, they knew the record too. They all were encouraging me, you know, Pass me the ball. They're like, hey, you're shooting it only. And I just – I didn't want it to be force fed. You know, I just wanted it all to be natural. You just got to compete. And it ended up coming. Um, actually surpassed our assistant coach, uh, Colin Coima. So I think that just shows the talent that we have on our team, not only players but also coaches too. So it's an honor to, to have that award now. That's a, that's another big name in, in Northwestern history. And, and so uh, – your name is starting to be along the lines in the, that list as well. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. We're here on Midwest Sports Net with Alex Van Callsbeek from Northwestern, the NAI National Player of the Week. And, Alex, it's one of those things, too. I mean, that that's honor for a week. But the folks at uh, Small College Basketball recognized what you're doing for the season as well. You're on the watch list, the top 100 watch list, for the Bevo Francis Award, which goes to the – Small college basketball player who's had the best season. So it's it's been a, a pretty good year. I, I would say coming off an injury, I mean, this season has to be something big. Talk about being on the Bebo Francis watch list. Yeah, um, I think I've been on there before in years past, but um, it's an honor to be on there. It'd be so cool to keep advancing. And um, my, uh, my motivation for that is to just advance um, and have my name on there, but more so for the team. You know, you're not going to get – you're not going to keep advancing if you're not winning. So um, I think that's just motivation for me and my teammates to just keep winning. Well, the team's doing its part as well. Again, we mentioned uh, having a good season. Right now, 16-4, and 9-3 and three in, in very tough GPAC play. As you've continued to have a solid season, uh, even as a sophomore, you know, I, I talk about the, being a, 
a program with history and, and great names there, coaches, players alike. But now you surpass the 1800 mark for your career. Not bad for a sophomore. That puts you in the top 10 uh, on the all time scoring list as well. Uh, numbers, you're not thinking about it, I'm sure, from nights to night, but still, uh, you might look at that. What, what do you think about that when you see that on paper right now? Yeah. Um, like you said, it's not something that I'm constantly focused on, but um, it's just cool to have uh, my name behind some of the stuff uh, and leave a legacy here. I mean, 1800 and only cracking the top 10 out of college. It's a lot of greats ahead of me still. So, well, absolutely. We're gonna get some more. You'll get some more chances this season. Uh, not probably not quite to the home stretch just yet, but as the month of January is winding down. The season does continue to progress. Uh, looking ahead, I'm sure, toward the GPAC tournament and for the the possibility and I think probability of playing in the NAIA tournament when when all is said and done. I, I talked about the games last week, but it was also a, a couple of games this week. Already one of the books, a 68-60 victory over Dakota Wesleyan on the road, and you come back home to take on Hastings, a team that uh, got the better of you in the earlier meeting this season. Uh, double-double at Dakota Wesleyan on Monday. Well, close to a double-double. 28 points, nine boards. Talk about the win on Monday, and, and we'll look ahead. Yeah, I think that's just a huge win. Um, that's, our only, that's our second win there in the past 10 meetings uh, when we're going at uh, Dakota Wesleyan. So um, getting those uh, road wins are huge for us. And now that we're home, um, it's just something we want to capitalize on now, use that momentum. And you were talking about the team, too. It is a team sport, and, and I appreciate that. So Hastings on Saturday, and uh, just tell me a little bit about this team and, and what it's like playing with them this year here in 23-24. Yeah, um, it's been fun, uh, something I missed out on last year, like I said. Um, early on, it took some adjustments. The last time I played um, a full season, I had a completely different team around me. Um, so it took a little bit to get that uh, camaraderie going, that uh, connection out in the court. But now that we're in the full swing of things, it's just a lot of fun. We have a lot of, a lot of playmakers out there, a lot of dudes that just do the little things that make uh, the world difference. The number 14 team in the country right now, the Northwestern Red Raiders and Alex Van Kalsbeek. You're having a great season, sir. The NAI Player of the Week, National Player of the Week for this past week. Congratulations on that honor. We're going to keep following you all as the season goes along. And thank you for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Thank you.